Hey everyone. Hey, good news. We did it. So I'm going to show you today a Langflow flow that will give an agent, and I'll zoom in here to show you, it will give an agent the ability to use Playwright to use a code runner tool so it can run code or execute bash commands, right? Right. Create scripts and run commands, access your file system using only locally running models, right? Totally open source. Only the only thing it costs you to run this is your own electricity. Okay. So we're calling this elephant, right? Because we've turned it into a nice little elephant shape. And if you zoom out, you know, you've got the sun and I'm going to show you what I did with it last night. Okay. So I asked, this was, this is a printing game a, pr a print farm game that it made for me. Right. So I said, I gave it a prompt. I said, go to you or do some research, find a few, uh, channels, YouTube channels on 3d print farming find a few and then make a comparison report, compare them. And then based on your findings, create a game, right? That's that borrows ideas from it. Right? So you can see here where you basically just click this button, right? And their, their printing material, they run out over time. You can't see it on the game. I just only gave it the one prompt. Then you buy more printing, you buy more filament, right? To, to supply your printers. And then as you go on, you know, they can break occasionally. And you just you just make money over time right and then you can upgrade you can buy parts you know additional printers whatever the case is and that's it right that was one prompt okay one you can do this too totally free i'm going to open source i'm going to share this file uh on a look at a location where you can download it too not for this game but for this langflow flow right so now let's check this out i'm going to run it and i oops i, I have a basic prompt in here. We're just going to look, watch it go. So it says, can you create a simple browser based game for me to play? And it's, you know, just kind of describes what I want to be able to control it with the arrow keys and the space bar. And then I want it to either be a running game like flappy bird or some sort of like brick breaker styled game with power ups that fall from random bricks that are broken. Right? So it's not going to, it's going to take some time to do this, but I'm just, I wanted to show you that, you know, it started, right? The work begins. And then it just starts to create the game, right? So you can see, you know, it's it's going to create some files for the game. All this, all this is, I mean, you know what? Let's do that right now, okay? I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect myself from the internet if I know how to. Turn the Wi-Fi off and I'm on, on an Ethernet connection. No internet, it says, okay? And look, it's still going. Now, you can't really see that it's doing anything, but let's check one other place. Actually, let's just let it do its thing. So, it's, you know, I do this locally. I don't have, you know, the big H100s where they're doing 6,000 tokens per minute, but I get about 60 tokens per minute or tokens per second, which is plenty. So, I could, I could leave and come back and this thing would be done and probably maybe 10 minutes and it's going to create a whole game. You know, I can see the output of it and I'm going to, and look in the comments below for the link, uh, to, to where, for where you can download this and just import it as a flow. And then you can do the exact same thing. You'll have an agent that can do all of these things. You could even use it to create more components for you. Right? So if you have an idea, you want, maybe you want me to try this out, create something else. Let me know, comment in the video and I will, I will, share with it your prompt and then we can go from there. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to keep making these things. I'll see what else I can make with this, but this is pretty cool. So check it out.